What's up, NFT explorers? Mike DeMazzo here to help you navigate through the metaverse as your no-fill resource. So what is a website to use for you to check floor prices? How can you see the seven-day volume on certain NFTs? Or maybe you want to know more about the supply and unique owners. So this video is for you if you want to learn more about a tool I like to use to keep track of not just my portfolio, but other projects in the space. Now, this website is WGMI.io. As a disclosure, I paid for the premium website back in August and get no financial gain with you checking it out or even signing up for that premium. It's a tool that's helpful for me and it's one that I hope you find some value in. So let's go over it, WGMI.io to start with, how to use it, what the premium offers, and my deep brief for explorers. So WGMI.io Discord was launched in August of this year. NFT Tomo is doing the building solo while working a full-time job, spending time with his wife and kids. NFT Tomo is a fellow ape and a crypto punk holder. By the way, all these builders in this space is just amazing and I just want to recognize them for laying out the groundwork for Web3. Back to the website. Let's talk about how to use it. It is a MetaMask wallet integration. Membership is per user, not per wallet, meaning you can look up each of your wallets after registering. To access the premium site, you have to be connected to your Ethereum mainnet with the account you registered with. So in the input field, you can enter and look up other accounts and you can also use your ENS address. ENS stands for Ethereum Name Service. It is a public utility for the Ethereum blockchain. It's so that you don't have to use OX, whatever numbers as your address. It could be like AO.eth as your address. So for projects, it pulls in all your ERC721 and ERC1155 asset projects. It shows the projects 30 day floor, seven day floor and one day floor, as well as 37 and one day change. Then it goes to the seven and one day volume as well as supply owners, floor gap and a direct link to a projects page on OpenSea. So that part right there is good if you want to check out the link for the OpenSea and it's not one of the fake ones that come up. It's actually a verifiable one because it pulls the actual contract address that's shown on OpenSea. So I'm not sure about the website's uh, business per month. Well, I think a lot, I messaged NFT Tomo and he said about 1500 daily was the last that he had checked. So it would be interesting to see how this page can rank up as far as search engine optimization goes. And there is definitely some ad space to feature your project for those people that's interested and want some space, even if I'm sure it's just NFT projects. I might even ask them if I could like, hey, can I put on my website? Like, what's the cost? Just now that I thought about it while I'm making this video. <laughs> Anyways, most transactions with NFTs or DeFi, decentralized finance, I like to use my computer because I like being able to see everything as opposed to like, say I use it on my iPhone and I'm very limited on my screen space. And there's definitely some things that I can miss. So for you that's transacting like high volumes or a very speculative assets, so you want to take the extra step and extra time to use a computer when looking at your JPEG portfolio. Also, as a reminder, none of this is financial advice. NFTs and DeFi are risky, only put in money you are willing to risk. Now for the premium access, it costs 0.1 ETH or about $380 at this time. Is it needed for this website to use it? No, it definitely isn't. That is one of the reasons I like being able to use it and recommend it for new explorers as it provides a set of data for you if you want to jump into an NFT or just want to look at the numbers. As I've said, I like NFT Tomo's work and as someone that does videos, watches the NFT space and gets into DeFi, I know how hard it is to find that balance. So I wanted to support him and also WGMI.io because it is definitely an incredibly useful tool to keep an eye out on my JPEGs. Now, for the premium function, the premium function tracks your wallet and any other wallets you add. It has the same option as the basic site with project names. It does show the quantity of NFTs you have for that project as well as the trade floor when it comes to your specific NFT, as well as added actions with viewing the floor activity, 
direct link to your collection. On top of that, it also shows your current ETH price, total assets, total value, total cost, and total net. So it's a way to gauge your NFT net worth. So how I like to use it is checking the portfolio based on the floor prices in case I want to liquidate. I'm both an active collector and trader in this space. One thing that I did learn in my own experience is to always have a plan when entering and exiting. For the most part, I'm a collector and look for collections where I've done my research and have a sense of what a project can deliver in two to five years time. However, I do know that if I have multiple of different NFT collections and see the price go from like 10x to even 100x, I will take that profit if I know that my next move, what my next moves are after. And the same goes if there is a project coming up and I want to stay liquid with a certain amount of ETH in my wallet. That way I could get into a project, buy multiple ones, sell them if I have to. Yeah, but for the most part, it's just a way to be able to keep track of my portfolio. Now, for the new explorers out there coming into this space, the best alpha I can drop for you is to watch this space. Note down different projects you find, you and I find. Don't ape in it right away. Take note on what the price is. Note what the floor is after a week to even a month. Was it up or did it drop? What is the community doing? That way you don't have to risk any ETH and is someone that is just studying the game. Granted, the game is meant to be played. So when you feel comfortable, jump in, interact, reach out if you have a question. Speaking of which, someone did ask about um, if I had a Discord channel, which will definitely come out soon. Right now, there are a lot of Discord channels and I don't want to just create one out of nowhere and say like, come join it. So for now, the mailing list is the best place to sign up for Alpha. And if you want to help out with the Discord channel, reach out. Let's make it better together because we all can make it. My review for WGMI.io is it is a five out of five fire emojis. Sure, design wise, it is it, you know, the fanciest looking tool out there. But for what you get at the most basic level, the look at floor prices, you can't help but use this site as a general feel for NFT projects to keep an eye on. So don't forget to tap that thumbs up for this video because the more we get, the more we are going to make it. Sound off in the comments below if you have any questions about WGMI or what your thoughts are for this video. Subscribe and turn on the notifications for videos about NFT drops, tools, and news. Stay legendary and I'll see you in the metaverse.